This is the Exxon Broadcast Network, broadcasting worldwide on broadcast affiliates and satellite program providers, including CNN Broadcast Network, Sirius Satellite Network, Star Media, Good News Radio Network, Angel Broadcast Network, Wiki Broadcast Network, and WPBN-TV. For more information on the X-Zone Broadcast Network, visit us at www.xzbn.net. All Hit Radio! To the X Zone, a place where fact is fiction and fiction is reality. Now, here's your host, Rob McConnell. And welcome back, everyone. This is the X Zone. My name is Rob McConnell. We're coming to you from our broadcast center in Hamilton, Ontario, Canada. Worldwide toll free 1 800 610 7035. Our email address is exxon at exxonradiotv.com. On all social media sites, Exxon Radio TV. And our website, www.exxonradiotv.com. My guest this hour is Chris Lesage. She is an energy healer of the Violet, Violet Flame. And she has used self-hypnosis and past life regression for many years. She is also a writer of magazine articles on self-empowerment, metaphysics, spiritual awakening, ascension, and mind-body-spirit topics. And she is a best-selling author on Amazon. Her articles have been published in magazines such as Sedona Journal of Emergence, The Magical Times, and The Watkins Mind, Body, Spirit, which are distributed at Barnes & Noble's bookstores and at other locations worldwide. She is the author of the following four books, Meditations for Past Life, Starseeds, Soulmates, and Beyond, Traveling to Parallel Universes, Manifesting Success in Relationships, Career, and Business via Numerology, and How to Achieve Fifth Dimension Consciousness. Her website is www.beyond3dbooks.com, and joining me now is Trish Lesage. And Trish, welcome to the X-Zone. Hello, thank you for having me on the show. Trish, where did you where did your interest in the many topics that you have um that that you write about come from? Well, as a teenager I was interested in the paranormal mm-hmm. but didn't have too many experiences and then back in about 2005 I went through a profound spiritual awakening and it seemed to open up a big can of worms because I started to experience pretty much everything from time to time. So that's pretty much how I got started. Then I started reading a lot of metaphysical books to become educated about the different topics and began having a lot of experiences and decided to uh, tell other people about my experiences in order to help them and to inform them as well. What was the catalyst of the spiritual awakening that you had? Uh, It actually was an out-of-body experience. My sister had told me that she had had an out-of-body experience. Mm -hmm. And even though I was open-minded to those sorts of things, um, I didn't really know whether or not I believed. I was a little skeptical, and then all of a sudden I had one of my own. And then that really seemed to be the catalyst that started everything. It's pretty hard to say, no, it doesn't exist when it happens to you, right? Exactly. <laughs> so, now, why do you think so many people in today's society are, are are finding so much interest and so much intrigue when it comes to the topics that you write about? I honestly think that, you know, among a lot of the people that are on a spiritual path, everyone mm-hmm. believes everyone believes that there's a shift in consciousness that's taking place in which people are going to a higher level of consciousness. Yes. And they call it the veil. The veil is lifting. And so it seems like the separation between what we consider to be the physical third dimension Earth seems to be thinning between us and the third dimension Earth and 
what was once considered to be, you know, paranormal or beyond the third dimension Earth. So what do you think we're lining up for? Are we lining up for a new beginning? Are we lining up for the the continuation of evolution? Are we Are we lining up to have a grand spiritual awakening that will affect everyone on this planet? What do you think is happening? I think a little bit of all of it. Yeah. I think... I think that, um, you know, as a species, we are evolving Mm -hmm. all the time anyways, our consciousness, and that's why we're here on the Earth. And so I think that we're going to probably take a big leap further than what we ever have before because, you know, people that believe in reincarnation believe that we've been reincarnating, you know, for eons and eons of time, you know, going pretty much at a snail pace. Sure. And now, all of a sudden, it seems like everybody, like you said, they're interested in all of these interdimensional or Mm multidimensional topics, and nobody was before. It was almost like it was taboo before. It was like Mm -hmm. something that was kept quiet, you know, and now, all of a sudden, people are having experiences of their own, and so now people are starting to believe, and it's starting to help people to awaken to a different level of consciousness and awareness. I got you. Trish, you and I have to take a two-minute commercial break. Stand by, please. ExoNation Trish Lesage is our special guest. You know, coming from Canada, I keep on wanting to say Trish Lesage, but it's Trish Lesage. She's a uh, an energy healer and an author, and we're going to be talking to, to Trish over the next hour about everything from past life regression to parallel universes. Her website, www.beyond3dbooks.com. And Trish and I will be back on the other side of this commercial break as we continue here in the Exxon from our broadcast center in Hamilton, Ontario, Canada. Don't go away. Modern Esoteric, Beyond Our Senses by Brad Olson, consummates the lifeology story about where humanity originates. It is the lost continents, the primitive wisdom, the mythos of creation, and the rethinking of ancient history as we are taught in academia. There is much more to the story than what we have been told. As this is the first book in the Esoteric series, Modern Esoteric starts at the beginning of time and accelerates up to this modern age. Future Esoteric is book two in the series and takes a forward-looking position ahead of today with an open and honest examination of the ET issue and various unexplained phenomena. To discover the writings of author Brad Olson, visit www.bradolson.com. That's www.bradolson.com. Named one of the world's greatest psychics, Elizabeth Joyce is now giving readings worldwide via Skype. Elizabeth Joyce is recognized for her clairvoyant ability to help find missing persons, her analysis of dreams, past life regression work, mediumship, and her accurate predictions. Elizabeth has been a frequent guest on the X-Zone radio show with yours truly, Rob McConnell, now for several years. For an appointment with Elizabeth Joyce, call 201-934-8986 or Skype at elizabeth.joyce. And for more information, you can always visit Elizabeth Joyce online at www.new-visions.com. Have a disease that you would like to alleviate through a natural means? Have you been contacted by angels, ghosts, or even extraterrestrials and want to validate these experiences? Or would you simply like to speak with someone who can help you find your life's purpose? I'm Dr. Joseph Mara, and I'm offering my services free of charge for first-time clients contacting me during the month of April. These free consultations include angel card readings, guided meditations, life coaching, and energy healing. If you have always wanted to explore these types of experiences but were skeptical or simply could not afford them, then take advantage of this free special offer. Contact me through my website 
a guiding light spelled L-I-T-E dot com to schedule your consultation today. Until then, I offer you love, light, and laughter. Yeah, Trish and I are dancing around. She's in Michigan. I'm here in Hamilton, Ontario, Canada. I'm waving at you, Trish. Can you see me? Yeah. There <laughs> yes, she is. We have there. Exonation. Trish Lesage is our special guest. Uh, www.beyond3dbooks.com is the website. And Trish, um, you wrote a book about traveling to parallel universes. Now, are you aware of any scientific research in regards to parallel universes? Uh, actually, I am. Scientists have been doing experiments on plants, crystals, and birds mm -hmm. in regards to teleportation, for example, which is, you know, moving the plants, crystals, and birds from one location to another without right. any physical means. And they are also experimenting on neutrinos, if I'm pronouncing that correctly, which are small particles mm -hmm. and They've noticed in experiments that they tend to disappear and then reappear in other places, which is a you know sign of the phenomenon of parallel universes. You know, objects and people tend to disappear and mm -hmm. and appear in other places. So it's very interesting that it seems like science and metaphysics are starting to you know bridge the gap between one another. Well, it's about time, isn't it? Yes, it is. Yeah. <laughs> Um, when you mention that um, that you travel to parallel universes in your book, are you referring to astral tra uh, astral travel, or are you referring to out of body experiences? Um, actually, no. I'm in my book. I actually refer to traveling in the physical body so it's not you know doing any sort of meditation or any kind right. of astral travel or out of the physical body it's actually the physical body ending up somewhere else wow so so how do how do you do it like how do you prepare yourself or is it something that you can just do spontaneously well, actually, when it first started happening to me, or when I first actually started noticing it happening, mm -hmm. is what I should say, because I didn't really understand what was happening at first. Um, my physical body, I would feel myself going through energy adjustments. Be being a healer of the violet flame, which is like you um, combine energy healing and visualization to use the violet flame. Right. But I don't actually use any healing to go from one universe to another, so it seemed to be happening to me at random without my intention or my doing anything on my part at all. And so I was going through energy adjustments, and I was familiar with those because of the energy healing. And so... When I would go to a parallel universe that was of a higher energy vibration than the one that I'm currently in, my energy would be adjusted in such a way it would feel like I was going through energy healing. Um, I would feel lighter, like a gray cloud had been lifted off from me, like negative energy had been mm -hmm. lifted off. And then the opposite tends to happen when you when I go somewhere that is of a more of a negative energy vibration, I'll feel waves of negative energy, and it's very, very dense, or it's very, very negative. And, and the idea behind it is because your your own energy vibration needs to match the energy vibration of wherever you go. Okay, so when, when you go to a, a parallel universe, is it like the universe that you're in now? Or is everything mimicked? So does that mean there would be two Trishes in that universe at that time? Um, it is. The places that I've been to, everything looks pretty much the same. However, if you pay attention to the small details of everything, you will notice small differences. For example, you'll notice buildings that are in one place mm -hmm. aren't in the other. Um, you might notice, like, a shrub that was in your front yard that was tiny is now huge. Um, you might notice different things like people's personalities right. being a little bit. 